then the transaldolase reaction. The transaldolase reaction. All right, we've got our seven carbon fragment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let me go ahead and put everything. Um, you know what? I need to make more room here. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this is going to be OH. This is going to be a carbonyl. This is going to be OH. And then we have one, two, three. Yes. And then we have our O phosphate. Okay. This is going to, so this is our cetohep 7 phosphate. This is going to react now with the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, which is a three carbon C, C, C. Uh, OH and OP phosphate. So what it's going to form is the following. Uh, so one, two, three, and then we're going to be three and six. Yes, so what's going to move? Well, let me just draw it out first and then I'll tell you what moves. So we've got one, two, three, four. That's that. Uh, OH, OH, O. P, and then plus our fructose 6-phosphate, which is going to be 6-carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I hope I have enough room here. OH, carbonyl, OH, 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 and O, and P. So here is what ended up moving over. These three These three were moved over onto this so to make this. So that's this right here. This is what the transaldolase reaction does. It takes a three carbon fragment, pushes it onto the glyceraldehyde three phosphate to create a six carbon fragment. I have started off with a seven carbon sugar. Now I'm left with a four carbon sugar. This became that. This became that upon transfer of this to that. Okay. So now let me go ahead and write. So the transaldolase reaction, the transaldolase reaction condenses, right? When we're putting, that's what I, when we put thing to molecules together, it's a condensation reaction. Condenses a three carbon fragment. Three carbon fragment with the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to form our fructose 6 phosphate. So here we have fructose 6 phosphate. Here we have our erythrose 4 phosphate. Here we have glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. And we are here we have our cetoheptulose 7 phosphate. There we go. It's fructose 6 phosphate and a tetrose. A tetrose is a four carbon sugar. That's it. Seven, three, 10, four, six, 10. We wanted to produce a six carbon sugar so that it can become glucose six phosphate. Okay, so that's the transaldolase reaction. Now let's go ahead and look at the final transketolase reaction. I think I'll go ahead and do this one in black. Now we have our now we're going to condense a, well, we're going to put react a zillulose 5-phosphate with the erythrose um, to actually form our next fructose. So let's go ahead and do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is our ketose. Remember, we're transferring a two-carbon fragment. So this is OH and this is O, and this is phosphate, and we're going to react this with our four carbon, one, two, three, four. So this is an aldose, OH, OH, and our O, P. Okay, 
what we're going to, you know what, let me write these out. So this is zellulose 5-phosphate, and this is our erythrose 4-phosphate. I'm going to go back to black, and what we're going to end up transferring, of course, is this onto this, because that's what transketolase does. It transfers a two-carbon fragment from a ketose to an aldose. Transketolase, it transfers a top, it transfers a two-carbon fragment from a ketose to an aldose. Here's our ketose, here's our aldose. So what we're going to end up forming is, we're going to be left with three-carbon fragment, which is going to be our glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Okay, so we produce an aldose and we produce a ketose. OH, this is O and this is our phosphate. This is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Now let me go back, plus fructose 6-phosphate. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So what we have is OH, we have that, we have that, we have this, and we have this, and we have this. So here we go. We are down to fructose 6-phosphate again. Those three sequential reactions produces the fructose 6-phosphate. The three sequential reactions on the mirror image produces that again. So here we had another two-carbon fragment. That ended up over here. Another two-carbon fragment is transferred from a ketose to an aldose. If you know nothing else, recognize that. A transketolase reaction takes a two-carbon fragment from a ketose to an aldose. It just moves it over. That's it. And the final word on the pentose phosphate pathway, the enzymes, all of these enzymes of the pentose phosphate pathway, they are cytosolic. There you go. This closes out our discussion of glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, and the pentose phosphate pathway. Thank you so much for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time for a discussion of the citric acid cycle. Bye-bye.